The weather is insanely beautiful today. No one's at the office yet. Feels good to be the first one. There's always some people here by the time I come, but today I was on the first. I'm gonna go pick up pizza from Greenpoint. Should be about 10 15 minute uh, bike ride. Um, yeah. I'll do it. This is my bike, and then this is my wife's bike. She doesn't use it much. Look at her tires are so clean. The weather was beautiful. The weather was beautiful today. I went to a cafe to... Uh, I went to the cafe that I had terrible experience with just to give it another shot because it's unfair to um, it's unfair to like give a rating to a cafe just because you have one bad experience out of many um, their cool food was good there let me redo my hair but um they when they first opened like they're like hyped because of the interior but when I went like year after again Frequently I had good experience but this one time the coffee downgrade is so bad that I started to believe that they focus more on the interior than the coffee. And today I went had their cold brew. It was okay. Standard so I will be going back sometime. Uh, sunset. sunset. We're in flushing to see her money, Harabaji. The way to flushing is so tough because seven trains never active. You have to transfer to like three trains and the bus. Ah, coming to flushing is such a such a hassle. I haven't been filming much lately um, this week because I think life caught up to me and um, <laughs> I just didn't want to pull out my camera and record all the time but um, 
Yeah, I've been wearing these pants ever since I got them, maybe early this week. Uh, it's a brand, it's a, it's denim pants from a brand called Ikor, or in Korean they call it Ikuru. Uh, super cool. I love the way it uh, drapes, and the length of it is perfect for my height. Um, and it has like cool pocketing, so um, I don't wonder if I can show you guys. Yeah, but if you see the pants, you can see that there is this regular side pocket that I can just put my hand in. But there's also a secondary pocket here. Um, this whole thing that reaches all the way down here, where my fingers are. And then it wraps around all the way to the back as my back pocket. Uh, seamlessly, instead of having to like have a separate back pocket, it, it's like an extension to the front. So that's super cool. Um, yeah, I love the design. I love the... I don't know if you can see it, um, but um, right here, there's this like little stitching detail. Um, makes it look like it's cuffed. I really like that. So I got a lot of compliments on the streets. So I visited my grandparents yesterday and then <laughs> the thing I love about visiting them the most is they always hook us up with takatsu or like a, this is like an energy drink uh, from my childhood um, they give us like two boxes of it and uh, they give me this ginseng extract although a lot of people hate it I personally really like it um, like my grandparents used to feed this to me in high school uh, up until I was like out of college and in the beginning, I hated it, but um, I've grown into it and I just conditioned myself to like it. Uh, this tastes like if Red Bull wasn't carbonated. Yeah. <sighs> oh, Bacchus is so good. It's one of those things that are like, if you know, you know. For lunch, breakfast, I'm gonna have leftover pizza. Oh, a little tip on heating your pizza to make it taste more like it's fresh out of the oven is to add water when you microwave it. So I put like little espresso cup sized water, um, put it on the side and then I just microwave it for like a minute or two. My face is so dry during the spring season. Um, on top of allergies and seasonal change, I think my skin gets really sensitive to to the the change. I guess. So like, it peels off, and then my toilet is so loud. But it peels off, and then it feels very dry. So I 
I constantly have to moisturize my face. Like especially it's bad where under my right eye is between the eye eyebrow and the eye. Um, it like literally like it shows clearly if um, I am outside. So I switched to this La Roche Posay um, moisturizer from trying so many different ones. So far, I like this because it doesn't smell like anything. I like it's how it's scentless, and I think it moisturizes pretty well. But it does sting my face a little bit, so I'm not sure if I should be sticking to it. From the last time, this is the sunscreen that I use a lot from Ryan Lab, but this also stings my face, and this is SPF 50 plus. So I might go with the new one. It's for sensitive skin. Oh, this is also SPF 50. Uh, but let's try it. Let's shake it a little. I've never seen sunscreen this dark. <laughs> Look at it, it's so dark. What the? Ooh, I like how I like how light this feels. I don't know if you guys can see through this camera, but I'm already peeling off. Or maybe I shouldn't put too many different products on. And then I got this mole the other day. Like. I never had this and like it just randomly came. That always a transition from winter to spring has been rough ever since I guess I turned a certain age, like 25 or 26. So yeah, it's weird. So the real sad thing is I'm actually out of coffee. Um, so I can't even make coffee right now. So um, my wife is currently taking an espresso latte art class. From, uh, from a coffee shop that I used to work at. They offer barista experience classes. Um, so I'm going, to, I'm going to go pick her up when she ends around like 1 p.m., 1.30 p.m. and then maybe pick up some beans from there because we're completely out of coffee. <sighs> also, there's a bit of a dilemma because um, I grew up wearing glasses uh, not all the time. I'm farsighted, so apparently my prescription says that I don't need to wear my glasses all the time. They're more like a reading glass, kind of like grandma or grandpa glasses that you know they put on to read. Um, acts like a magnifying uh, glasses. Um, so I didn't like how I looked in it because it was something so unfamiliar, so I didn't grow up using it too, too often. But as of lately, since I'm staring at a computer screen too much, I got prescribed and got new glasses. This one, like, this is like a bold thick glasses that um, I think like all the Korean people used to wear, so I put it on. I don't hate myself in it, um, if you can get a better look. I think it looks fine, um, but sometimes like I want to play around with different frames, depending on how I style my outfit and kind of um, change it up a little bit. Um, so I got this like metal thin frame, which I don't think I look good in. Uh, hoping that um, I can like try this geek chic uh, trend. Um, I wish that it was a little thinner. I don't know if you guys can focus. Um, but anyway, um, I wish it was a little slimmer, like about this much. But I don't know how. I don't know if I like how I look in it. I think I look like someone who's trying too hard. Um, my wife looks so much better in this than I do, so she might take it. Um, but I always wanted metal thin frames. Uh, not those like circular, really circular thin frames because they look uh, too much of a, like a nerd. <laughs> but this one, I'm still trying to get used to it. Um, it's like blue light glasses, but for the most part, I've been rocking these. Um, um, do you call it reflective? They turn into sunglasses in the sun. Very exciting news is that we are getting a car tomorrow. So my wife is flying to Boston tonight. Um, I couldn't go because I work, but her office is in Boston, so she it's like a good excuse to go see them. But she found a dealer who had the model that she wants, so she's getting big reveal. Um, 2025 Lexus UX 300H. It's a hybrid car. Um, my wife did all the research. It was more like a her car because she'll be driving it in Boston um, like 95% of the time. Like I'll never drive it, barely ever.
It's a Korean ginseng extract. I've come to like the taste of it now. But I remember I gave it to my non-Asian friends. <laughs> and their reaction was so like... It was like... What do you call it? Like you can't buy it. Like I love their reaction. <laughs> I forget how zoomed in this uh, 35mm lens is. Wow. Maybe, I'll get a, maybe I should get a 50mm. Ever since I stopped taking photos, I think I'm losing the sense of why like, good photo is quote unquote. Like, if I see something, I uh, used to vision in my head how it would picture out and kind of take photos that I like. But now I just can't even, like, my brain won't even know what the next step is, what to do or even like have eye for things because I haven't been taking photos as much so I'm just trying to get better at that um, like composition and all that stuff is like very um, awkward to me now it's like it's really weird this is the coffee shop, the roastery um, this is where the coffee shop roasted their beans to ship out to their locations um, I guess this is like officially the HQ of coffee project but this is where the training centers happen so all the people who want to learn coffee they come here to train and my wife should be here but it seems like no one's in there Finally in. It was freezing. I was out for like 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, wow, I miss this place. Wow, they got the new updated machines. Some machines I want to play with. is insanely beautiful to me. 